big win for UNC fans after a lot of back and forth and even some threats made. The NCAA making a new ruling. The agency deciding transfer and wide receiver Tez Walker is cleared to play for the Tar Heels. Yeah, the NCAA says it received some new information from Carolina this week. We have live team coverage tonight breaking down the decision and the new reaction to it. And we begin with Trayvon Miles. Trey. Hey, yeah, Steve, Lauren, even after this ruling has been finalized, we're still seeing some back and forth from the NCAA and some UNC officials. This case blew up over the summer. So many people became invested in it, not only around UNC, but around the entire country. In the end, Tez Walker is eligible, albeit six weeks into the regular season. Either way, it's going to be welcomed for UNC. Walker came into this season as a preseason all ACC selection and was thought to be Drake May's top target throughout the spring. The NCAA, as you said, Steve, says they received new information from the school, which made Walker eligible immediately. That new information has not been made public, although UNC Director of Athletics Bubba Cunningham contends that there was no new information. No matter who proves to be correct, Walker will be on the field for the remainder of this season. I talked to a UNC spokesperson earlier. They said that Walker will be in fact in uniform on Saturday when the undefeated Heels take on one loss Syracuse. They couldn't specify how much he'll play or even if he'll start that game, but he'll make his season debut this weekend. Also, his family will be in the stands at Keenan Stadium when that happens, guys. The NCAA putting out a sharply worded statement today saying UNC could have avoided this if they provided that information earlier. Obviously, there's a different version of events emerging from Chapel Hill, so a lot more to still unravel on this one, Trey. Thank you. But surely Tez is excited. That's right. All right, let's bring in Sean Coffey now, live on UNC's campus. Sean, fans there excited to hear today's news. Yeah, guys, this news today met with understandable excitement both here on campus and over on Franklin Street. And it's not just Tar Heel, Tar Heel football that's getting a lift here. It's local businesses, too, who say that the team's hot 4-0 start is already has the town buzzing. And if you want to know just how much today's news means, this video posted by UNC's social media account sh shows it all. Yeah, yeah, this will make out. That's Tez Walker learning from head coach Mac Brown that after 10 months of uncertainty, appeals, and finger pointing, he'll be able to take the field this Saturday. It's really exciting. It's great. Fourth to have generation you UNC back. grad and Franklin Street business owner Robert Poitras is ecstatic. My phone has been blowing up the last hour. It is just awesome news for the Tar Heels. And in fact, you know, I'm happy for Tez Walker. I mean, a student athlete came here under expectations. Got a bad deal, it appeared, and now he's able to play. So is Willie Barron. He graduated from UNC in 2018 and just opened up his own business on Franklin Street. I don't think people understand how big of a deal UNC sports around here are, even for a lot of the businesses on Franklin Street. It brings so many people to, to Chapel Hill when we keep winning, and it really fuels our businesses on the weekends. Merch shop Carolina Sportswear has a lot at stake, too. They actually have an NIL agreement with Tez to sell custom T-shirts. So this is the front and the back of Tez's shirt. Now you'll see him on the field. You'll, yeah, we'll see him on the field. And like I said, we hope to see a lot of these in the stands. Holly Dedman manages the store. My first reaction was, what? <laughs> you know, I mean, is this really happening? Is it really true? And so, you know, you go to your main source of information these days, you know, Twitter, and there it is. I'm like, wow, this is, it's really cool. It's, um, it's, we're super excited. Just maybe not quite as excited as the 50,000 fans inside Keenan Stadium on Saturday. Oh, it's going to be insane. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely insane. And with that 4 0 start, businesses say foot traffic's already been up on weekends over on Franklin Street. This news only bound to help that even more. Next up, UNC going to host Syracuse here at Keenan Stadium on Saturday. Kickoff at 3 30. And Steve Lauren, if you can believe it, actually, this tie choice inadvertent today. Sometimes the word really works out. <laughs> Look, you manifested something good today, <laughs> Sean. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.